Hey everyone, so it is for Friday, so congratulations on making it to Friday this week. You guys did great. Um, so today we are going to be talking about hair masks. Um, not any hair mask that you would buy in a store, but more of a at-home sort of hair mask. So as you can see, the location that we are at today is very different from what you're usually looking at, which is my bedroom wall. Today we are filming and going to be watching me make this hair mask in the kitchen. So this is my kitchen. And everything so anyway um, so this hair mask I call it the CPR hair mask mainly because it kind of helps bring back your curls to life so if you just went a week of hair straightening or you did a hair dye you did a hair color treatment on your hair or you just haven't given your hair that TLC it deserves because you've just been busy or whatever it is this mask is definitely going to help bring your curls back to the way they were before now I do not do this mask very often I do it a lot more in the uh, winter than in the summer, of course, because winter is dry and the cold air is just bad. And if you live in Canada, you live in the north, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so anyway, so I decided to actually redo this video. I have a post of this on my blog already, but I figured a step-by-step -step guide about how I do it personally would probably be best. And I just wanted to show you guys as well how I do achieve those perfect curls even after a hair straightening session of two weeks. So we're gonna get right into it. Um, so we have a few products and everything that you're about to see. You can purchase at any store. You don't need to go to any special beauty supply store, no online purchasing. It's all really easy stuff to buy. So don't worry about that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is olive oil. So I have here my extra virgin. Um, so the reason why we use olive oil is to help seal the ends and it's also going to help produce less frizz in your after product. So you're going to need a half a cup of that and so you're going to need a cutting board of course and well as a knife for the other stuff. So I'm going to use my one of my cups here, so half a cup of the olive oil. Now you can also use um, any other regular oil as well if you wanted to. You could use vegetable oil, canola oil, just some sort of like yellow oil, I guess it's good. Now I use half a cup, but everyone's hair length is different. So if you have shorter hair, like a pixie cut, definitely do like one fourth of a cup. And actually I think I use too much of this. Um, I want to be like a one time use only. Oh God, I'm not like put this back in. Oh, I'm making a mess, whatever. Um, so anyway, let me try to save it. So yeah, half a cup of that. Now you're also going to need raw raw honey for shine. Uh, it doesn't have to be like organic honey. It can be any kind of honey. So I just have this honey here that I bought. Um, so I'm going to use two tablespoons of that, and that's just for the shine of your hair. Now I don't, I'm not going to dirty up a spoon for this. I'm just going to squeeze it out and go by what I think is right. So you might have to shake it up a bit first if you haven't used your honey in a long time like me. I literally only use this honey just to do a hair mask. So I'm just going to attempt to squeeze some of this out. I'm gonna have to use my knife here to do so. Yeah, it's like rock solid in there, which is fine. Um, it's just honey. So we're getting two tablespoons of that. Yummy. Oh, now it's coming out. Perfect. Now, if you think your hair needs more shine than frizz control, then definitely use more honey. Or less oil you can definitely change this recipe any way you want to um, and then next we're gonna need coconut milk so coconut milk usually comes in a can you can purchase that I don't have any coconut milk on me so I'm just gonna use good old cocoa oil which works just as well I just really prefer the coconut milk because it's a liquid already it's much more rich uh, but the oils works just as fine as well and you're also gonna do half a cup of that so I'm just gonna scoop about half a cup of coconut oil into my magic bullet cup here. Oh, you guys heard that, I'm sure it made a lovely noise. Okay, so this is what we have so far in our cup. We've got lots of space to work with, which is perfect. All right, so now that we've done that, we're also going, oh, so the coconut milk slash coconut oil is of course a protein boost for your strands just so that they stay strong, you know? You want them to stay strong, as always. Now, just because summertime does not mean you can just be careful with your hair and not get the same TLC treatment that you would if it was winter. You should definitely get the same treatment because the heat can be just as damaging as the cold. You just need to be really careful. I mean, obviously, your, your hair regimen and uh, routine does change throughout the seasons, but you should still give your hair the same amount of attention 
because it is still going to do the same thing. You know, it's not going to change its growth spurt or whatever. You still need to give your hair that same treatment it deserves. Um, so the next thing we're going to use is a avocado. And the reason why is because the, the fatty acids in the avocado, the omega-3 acids and all that stuff, um, it'll boost your hydration and moisture your strands. So that's why we're going to use this. This one is very squishy. I bought two avocados last week and I haven't even used them for anything. So I'm just going to use them for these hair masks I'm going to do and hopefully freeze the hair masks as well. Oh god, I'm afraid to see what this looks like on the inside. Okay, it doesn't look that terrible. It's clearly going bad in some areas, but that's okay. I'll just cut around it. And you only need half of the avocado, guys. You don't need a whole bunch. You don't need a whole one. You just need half. So. And whether you have long hair or short hair, I don't think it really matters how far you are in your growth in terms of natural hair. I would just use the full half because avocado is very good for your hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, scoop that out. Oh boy, this is not going as I expected it to. So I'm also going to use my knife for this because I'm a huge, I'm making a huge mess right now. And I don't want to, so. But you know, at home masks definitely make a huge mess. And that's okay. <laughs> this is literally, it literally fell into the container, the entire avocado that I just cut in half. Oh my god. Yeah, because it's so soft, so be careful guys. If you're going to use a call, call that's super ripe, which you should. Um, <laughs> be careful that this doesn't happen to you. So you don't want the entire thing to fall in there. You just want the avocado itself, not any extra peel or whatever else in there. So that's basically what I'm doing now. I'm just trying to fix it all because it's all getting in there. Okay. I'm just going to flip the other that was left in there. Now, because I'm making enough mask to last me a good while, I'm just going to use the entire avocado itself just so I can get rid of it. So I'm not going to be able to freeze this later on. Like, it's basically going bad right now. So. Ooh, good catch. So we're going to cut that up. I mean, I know that you're not eating the actual bad part of the avocado, so you could probably just use the entire thing and it'd be no harm. Um, but I'm very paranoid about things like that. I also don't want it to smell bad in my hair for a good hour and a half. Because it's going to be in there for a long time, the hair mask. So I'm just cutting around the bad but you can all do as you please, of course. We're all grown ass women here, right? So, if you hear any noises in the background, that's my dishwasher going off because the dishwasher needs to be turned on. So, yeah. All right, I'm just checking to see if there's any more peel in here and it looks like we're okay. Okay, perfect. So now we're done with that. And we're also going to get um, a banana as well because the banana will soften the hair. Now, normally you would use half a banana. I'm gonna put the whole thing in there because once again, I'm making enough of this for more than one use. I'm definitely gonna freeze this, this mask after so I can use it again next week. I feel like I've been really stressed for the past few weeks. So my, um, my hair hasn't been given the same amount of treatment it deserves. And I should be changing that, I know. So I'm just going to use this banana, which is extremely soft. I probably could have eaten this still, but it's okay. All right. So this is what we have. I used an entire banana and an entire avocado. Um, the honey's in there at the bottom, you can see. The coconut oil is in there as well. Now you don't have to use an entire banana and an entire avocado. Actually, you shouldn't, but due to the fact that I have an entire banana that's going bad and I want to get rid of my avocado as much as possible, you can definitely double the recipe if you're trying to make more than one use out of it. So if you're going to freeze it, then by all means, definitely use the whole thing because why not, right? So anyway, yeah, this is a huge mess here that we made, but that's okay. It's all homemade stuff. It's all good for you anyway. So now I'm just going to put the cover on for my... Um, my magic bullet here nice and tight not too tight so I can actually open it and so that's the magic bullet there I'm just gonna give it a little shake just to kind of get everything blended in so it's a lot easier for me when I do it oh look at that look at that look how nice this looks <laughs> so anyway clearly this is not gonna go cover my entire hair like I'm also gonna use maybe half of this 
but that's okay. So I'm actually going to add a little water, I think, to this as well, just so it'll blend a little bit better. Um, actually, no, it should be fine. But now I am just going to wash my hands and we are going to get this thing blended. So there we go. So the magic bullet is actually just behind me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna rinse my hands really quickly for you guys so I can actually do this properly. All righty, so here we are. Okay. So if, you made your, if your hands were touching it before in terms of the bottom to, to close off the cover for your blender or whatever you have to blend this, wipe it off with a towel just so you don't have to worry about it slipping or whatever when you open it afterwards because this goes on the floor, it's not fun to clean up. <laughs> so we're just going to blend this really quickly. for a second and just shake it up again. See, now it sounds more like a drink than anything else. And as you can see here, the uh, color has completely changed to so more of a green, tint green, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to shake it a bit more. I think it's actually pretty good. Like it's, I'm surprised it blended this well because if you have the coconut milk that you're using, it'll actually blend a lot better because it's not as thick, of course, as the oil, the coconut oil. Um, but this looks pretty good. So I'm pretty impressed, actually, that it went that fast. So I'm just going to re-blend again just to make sure we don't have any clumps in this as well. And again, I'm going to shake. And I'm going to do it one more time because there comes a charm and I want consistency in my hair masks. So, this looks very tasty, but it's actually going to taste disgusting, so do not try to drink this. All right, one more. So I definitely think that's definitely enough consistency. Um, so this is our hair mask. So this is definitely more than enough for me, for myself, in terms of um, usage. I would definitely only use maybe half of this for one use. Um, so yeah, I'm going to freeze the other half and keep it for next week or whenever I decide to redo it again. And that is how you'd make the CPR hair mask. So what I'm going to do now is just, um, I need to detangle my hair in the shower. I'm going to use my conditioner and I'm going to separate into four sections and just do a quick detangle with it. And then I'm going to apply this hair mask for, let's see how long. I would say about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, yeah, so about an hour and a half I'm going to say I'm going to do this for. So this is my before. Okay, I know my quality right now for this video is so shitty nice. Do apologize, you guys. I'm working on getting a better camera. You know, my clothes aren't that terrible. I just want to give them a little bit extra love today. So this is a, oh gosh, a day two, maybe, wash and go? Day three at most? Day three or four wash and go. Um, it's been very humid here. I have not been faring very well for the past few days. So I have not been taking care of my hair at all. Um, but as you can see, like, it's dry a little bit. And the hair products I've been using, which are amazing. There's been too much buildup now from it because of the heat and the sweatiness and everything. So I'm going to deal with this, detangle it, and apply that and show you guys how it looks. And then I am going to show you a before and after. So I will see you guys very soon. Okay, so just really quickly guys, I want to show you, um, so I just got out of the shower, I put the hair mask in my hair, I didn't want to put too much, so because I don't want it to look like it's running down my face, which it already is, 
Um, so I just put just enough to coat the curls and I'm also going to put a plastic bag over it just so it doesn't run down too much. So this is what it looks like right now sitting in the hair. So yeah, you can see it's kind of doing its little magic trick right now. Um, so this is what I have left from what I put in my hair so you can see there's still quite a lot. So anyway, I'm going to pull this in for about an hour and a half and I will show you guys the end results once I rinse it out with everything else. Um, I'm going to season my chicken and probably eat dinner and chill for a bit and I will see you guys in an hour. Okay, so this is the end result. Um, so it's been about an hour and a half, about an hour and 45 minutes I would say since I've had this um, hair mask in. So this is what it looks like now that it's all sunken into my hair. So you can see all that magic there. It's like completely gone. You can't see any creamy, banana, whatever. So anyway, I'm about to wash it out and then I will show you guys what the curls look like afterwards. Okay, so as you can see here, these are the results. My hair is completely soaking wet. I haven't even rinsed it out yet, or sorry, dried it with my t-shirt, which I'm about to do now. Um, I thought about actually just wrapping my hair completely with the towel, sorry, t-shirt that I'm going to use. But I feel like if I do that, I'm going to have all the nutrients I just put in the hair completely erased. So I just want to give you guys a really close um, look here. So I detangled before and my hair is completely uh, soaking right now. But these are the completely end results. So what I do in the shower is basically um, rinse my head like this right with my, with my shower head. And I turn my head upside down and get all the nutrients going to the front because that part's always forgotten about. So yeah, these are the end results. Um, I guess I will dry it with my t-shirt a little bit just to make sure it's not dripping on me and I will show you guys, I guess, later on what the full results are when it's completely dry. So I'm just going to take my t-shirt and just kind of dab with it a little bit. I don't want to, you know, dry too much of the towel because I want all of that nutrients to stay in my hair. And I'm holding my phone filming this, so I apologize if I'm shaking too much. So yeah, I'm just trying to dry the hair, the ends at least, so it doesn't, um, you know, drip all over the place. But I do want to keep the rest of the nutrients there because I did do that hair mask for two hours and what would be the point of doing it if I just dried all, all the nutrients into a t-shirt, right? So yeah, the curls are looking pretty good. I'm not, I'm not, I can't complain. And I will show you guys what it looks like when it's completely dry with Okay, so really quickly before my phone runs out of time, I just want to show you guys the end results here. So my hair is completely dry right now. Um, the curls are very springy. It looks like I have hair products in there, but I actually don't. This is just the mask itself. Look at how divine my curls are. This is amazing. I'm very happy with my results. Of course, now the shrinkage is very real right now. But that's okay because I'm about to go to sleep. So I'll probably put it in a little poof on my top of my head and then rock it tomorrow. But this is the end results of the CPR hair mask. Um... If you don't mind shrinkage, then I guess you could just rock it and go on through the day. But I don't really care for shrinkage that much. So I'm going to put it in a ponytail, put my scarf on, and call it a day. So yeah, this is the end results. And I hope you guys like this video. If you do, I can definitely do more hair masks and more other tips on things that I do for my hair. I'll probably do a co-wash video next. Um, but I hope you guys like this one. Everything that I did mention earlier, you can definitely buy at one grocery store. It's very cost effective. There's no huge... Um, price or budget needed for this so i hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah stay cool